there is a question that what is the difference between PCNSA and PCNSC? So I can just explain you. Uh, in the in the when you're managing the firewall, let's say there is a source IP. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now this rule. Somebody asks you, can you please create this rule and apply on a, apply on 10 firewall? Now, what you can do, of course, as a network security engineer, you will create this rule individually Logging into the firewall, maybe through SSH, depends which firewall you're using, right? So maybe Cisco ASA, you're doing a, a, you know, SSH, for example, or maybe ASTM. You're doing, you're creating a rule and you're saving the configuration, applying it, right, working one by one. So every time you create this rule, you need to go into the 10 firewall. Let's say each time you create a rule on one firewall, it will take how much time? Let's say take uh, five minutes. Same time. Yeah, five okay. minutes, okay? Five minutes, you are doing it very well. Now, every firewall you're logging in, 5 to 10, 5, 7 minutes you take. Let's say 10 multiplied by 5. How much minutes do you need? Oh, how many minutes? minutes? How many? 50? 50, yeah. Yeah? Now, with the event of Panorama, FMC, um, uh, 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 SMS on checkpoint, for example, you will create this rule once and push everything on 10 firewall at the same time. And this will things will be happening in 5 minutes. So effectively, you are saving 45 minutes. This will make your life easier, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Second thing, there is a centralized management, centralized configuration, centralized backup, and many other things. So hopefully, once we start Panorama, you will, this all points will be clarified. Hmm. Clear? Thank you.